R2D2, where are you? All right, so let's get ready to assemble the true scale. So this will work for people who got both packages, the Detolf one and the expansion kit, which together make up the true scale or most parts of it. Um, and if you already have the Detolf, then most of this will be repetition, but a good idea anyway. So you see on the left side of your screen, the arches with the corrugated tubes. You see the PVC tubes that go into the gray plates you see here. You see the new background graphic. You also see this bag, which uh, is the solid uh, tubes that go in the ceiling. Uh, this is the new ceiling plate. So if you have the detail version, um, this is the one you need to use as a replacement to make that fit. And you can screw in those tanks like this. And you can see here, I already did that for the bottom plate that I had from the prototype, you know? So uh, here we go. Here are the side plates. These two are the floor units that go with the true scale and the expansion kit. Then moving to the side, you see the um, right side vertical plates. I've already uh, put the one engraved and two blank plates together as sets of three. So that's something I suggest you do too. And then you see these three sets of two for the ceiling plates. Um, and either you, uh, you assemble it in the, uh, in the space you are planning to use it, like an Ikea Besta or Stuva, or in my case, uh, you might assemble it elsewhere, in which case I suggest you use some type of ground plate that can hold the assembly as you move it. All right? So let's get started on that. All right. So you'll also find three of these corrugated tubes in your kit. And we're going to slide these onto these arches. And as you can see, that just looks perfect. All right, so off camera, I did the other two and we can just lay those aside for now and move on to the rest of the assembly. All right, so I got the base plate with the screwed in tanks. Um, I got one of the side plates and put in the first of the vertical, well, what do you call them, slats, and then do the second one. So then we get the first of the arches, place that between the first and the second of the vertical plates. And slide it in. Get the second one in there as well. So, second side, you don't want to push these too far because they'll get in the way when you put in the others. Moving on to the second row. All 
All right, so as with all of my designs, uh, these are made to uh, work together and stand uh, without glue. Uh, but of course, if you want to, you uh, please feel free to do that. Uh, there won't be any need around the tubes, but um, the side plate, that might be something you can glue in. Um, and if you do, use a silicone-based glue. All right, now a few things to point out at this stage. Um, either from your detolf kit, which you bought, or in the uh, package you got for the true scale, you'll also find these assembly tools. You might find it handy to use them on the ceiling because to make everything fit uh, this precision construction, you need the plates to sit at the same distance all the time to make it fit the ceiling slots, the sides, and the bottom uh, slot, so you can use them while you're assembling things and moving stuff around with the uh, with the tubes and everything. And uh, once everything is settled and you're ready to place the final ceiling plates, then uh, just take these off carefully. All right, so I also placed the floor so that we have all the correct distances and angles. Now I'm sliding in these solid, uh, I don't know what's the, the correct English word, so let's call them solid tubes, which is kind of a misnomer, but okay. Um, these don't offer up any resistance. These will, because that's partially where the rigidity of the final structure will come from. So off camera, I'll be placing the final of the three uh, vertical plates and then we can finish up. All right, so with the ceiling, uh, or with the special uh, construction tools holding the ceiling, I find it best to slide in uh, the, uh, the rows of metal uh, grates from the side through these slots so they come out exactly here and the sides will make sure that the vertical alignment is just right. Again, um, then you can hold this uh, uh, assembly tool when you push in the tubes which will offer up some resistance again but the assembly tool will make sure all the other crap doesn't move like so working perfectly then slide on another of these and so on always keep working symmetrically so now I have two of the vertical plates of the last set mounted with again one of the arches in between and only one on this side so before we move on to that one place one on this side I move these tubes back just to, so they're flush with the back side of this so there's room for this one to slide in, and then just gently lift the assembly tool so there's room for this one to slide underneath. Then push back on the side so it sits in the correct position in the floor, in the sides, and on the ceiling. And then you just move the tubes one step further. Perfect. So the final of these plates, oh, forgot to push these back. Slide it in. Slightly at an angle from the top, slides in perfectly from the side, everything seated where I wanted to. Slide these back. So when all three sets are done, just move the tubing as far back as you feel like. Uh, whatever looks good to you. I like to move it almost and completely through. Same goes for this. 
that will go all the way to the background graphic as you will see later and so everything now is exactly where we want it except for the arches which come last another thing to note for proper placement these sides need to stay on top of the ground the, the ground plate uh, otherwise they won't connect fully with these plates so the beauty of it is if everything is pushed through and everything is in its place uh, the thing will not only fit together like a Swiss watch but it'll also uh, be very sturdy from its own construction without um, without even uh, needing glue so now let's add the arches so now that everything is in place and uh, is held in place by the fit of all the parts you're safe to remove these ceiling of the, these construction tools from the ceiling I should say be careful so everything stays where you need it to be take these like this The narrow ones, as you can see, go uh, for the second and last position, and then you can safely put back the sides. So then we use the ceiling plates to lock it all in place. All right, we get the uh, 3M strips provided. So with the 3M, you want to peel back the part that doesn't say 3M. Give it some time to set. Give it as long as you can. Like I said in previous videos, this stuff is actually not double-sided tape but special industrial grade actually automotive grade glue between two protective sheets so that like any glue just needs time to set Right, so now that I've given it time to set, press it down once more and very carefully remove the backing to, and make sure you see the glue strip still where you need it to be. All right, so final touch. Slide this thing in and push it up against the 3M. And there we go. Ooh, no, no, no. One more final touch, of course. The stripper pole. Slide it in from the top. So check out this perfect diorama, the true skill, perfect representation of the Princess Leia corridor.